my experience as a game warden, I've never seen crocodiles act like this, Jim. What do you suppose is the matter with them? Beats me, warden. That's why I sent for you and the medical officer. Whatever it is, may be in the water. I'll have the medical officer take some samples from the river. We'll check it for pollution. Happen to notice any of the other animals acting this way, Jim? I just got back from Mombasa, but I did notice a baby elephant acting strangely. It could have been the drinking water, too. <laughs> Looks like Tamba's looking for a little trouble. them show their usual spirit. Tamba, look out! Yeah, I'm all right. Don't mention it, Tamba. What do you make of it, Doctor? The hardest thing I've ever encountered. These crocodiles seem to be quite normal organically. Well, what makes them play dead? You've described it exactly. With a few exceptions, they seem to have lost any desire to resist whatever is done to them. It's incredible. As to what causes it, Jim, I frankly don't know. I want to take some blood samples and some samples of the water. I'll have to examine them carefully in the laboratory. Then we better get back to Nagandi. I'll make an entire report to the commissioner. I'll try and track down that baby elephant. Do that. And anything else that might help us, bring to the medical office. Use this on the baby elephant. It might not be effective, but it can do no harm. Right. Come on, Samba. We've got to find that baby elephant. Thank <laughs> you. 
Murata. What cause have you to harm my sister? She tried to kill me, that's all. He tried to steal my chimpanzee. Your chimp? Tamer's not wild, he's my pet. You lie. You tried to kill me to get the animal for yourself. Hold, Shari. We will see if the animal is yours. Speak to it. Make it obey you. Tamba, do a backflip. Come on. There, you see? He is an animal thief. This is a fine time to get stubborn. Tamba, come on. Do a backflip. There, are you satisfied? I have heard tales of a white man like you. Are you not Jungle Jim? That's right. I am Mahara, chief of the Wasulis. We are a wandering tribe of hunters following the trail of migrating animals. What happens to the animals when you find them? That is no concern of yours. You do not own the animals in the jungle. Maybe not, but I'd hate to see them harmed. Hold your temper, Shari. Jungle Jim is a friend to those who live in the jungle. I agree with Sherry. Our work does not concern him. Forgive their sharp tongues. I will tell you that we do not harm the animals. We capture them to sell to traders for zoos and circuses. Where's your camp? At the Kalinga Oasis. I have a friendly warning for you, Chief Mahara. Warning? It may save the lives of some of your people. Do you threaten us, Jungle Jim? Just trying to help you. When you hunt, stay away from the canyon that lies to the south. The canyon of the Ape. What is wrong with the canyon? It is the home of the man ape. The natives who've lived there before have been driven out by the beast. He kills anybody who comes within his domain. Oh, that's a ridiculous story. Perhaps Jungle Jim wants the canyon as his own private hunting ground. Suit yourself, I warned you. He means to make trouble for us. I'm sure he doesn't, Shari. Don't be too sure, Mahara. Strange. Seems somewhat suspicious of us. And I am very suspicious of him. out of your mind. Stay on the job. Come on. <laughs> Tamba, what are you doing up there? Stop them, Tamba. Keep out of here. This is the canyon of the ape. They've got to warn the hunters to get out of this area.
now. Amber, come here. You take care of her now. I'm going to warn those hunters about the Canyon of the Eight. Now, be careful. This is a private camp. What happened to the monkeys? Oh, they're just asleep. I regret this camp is restricted. We're making an intensive study of behaviorism among jungle animals. We're anxious to buy animals of all kinds if you have any to sell. The jungle is the home of these animals. They should be left there. You didn't come here to tell me just that. No. I came to warn you to leave this valley. Are you in any position to give orders? I'm not ordering you. I'm advising you. Those caves are the home of a killer ape. I'm sure we can handle any animal. Suit yourself. Those monkeys sleep awful sound. He could cause us trouble. I'll depend on you to take care of that emergency. Now it's time to give these beasts the antidote. get completely perfected. We'll need more animals, especially a good supply of monkeys. That tribe of hunters still at the oasis. You'll go there with Norley and buy all their animals if possible. Let's go. supply of acrid ore coming in fast enough? Yes, it's being replenished every day. Good. That means you can continue supplying the polyacrid solution at the same rate. Oh, very easily. The ore reacts perfectly in a very weak saline solution. Huh. And distills to this colorless, tasteless extract. Here in a tiny bottle, Perry, is more wealth than Midas ever dreamed of. The only drawback is working in this savage jungle. Can't we do all this and still be among civilized people? <laughs> If it'll relieve your qualms, I'll explain why we must work here.
Ghost, don't stop that ape. Hey. Quit being afraid, Tambo. We're getting out of here. We're going to the oasis to stop Mahara from selling his animals. Come on. When can you start delivering the animals? Today we can take the zebras to your camp. Tomorrow the cages will be delivered. That's part payment. You'll have the balance when they're all at our camp. It is located, you say, in the canyon of the Eight. That's right. Jungle Jim said no one should go into the canyon. Have you seen any sign of this ape near your camp? No, the canyon is free of wild animals. Jungle Jim lied. He must be repaid for deceiving us. Ramada, leave this in my hands. Go prepare the zebras. Send Ali and Besson with them. It won't take long. If you don't mind, we'd like to go along and watch. Mm-hmm. is heading for the oasis. The killer ape. We better get there first, Tamba. Laboratory in operation as quickly as possible. Should we stay here? That killer ape is sure to return. Next time, I think I have a way to destroy it. Now listen, men. After we have perfected the extract, our rewards will be great. Besides, I know no place on Earth besides this canyon where the rare mineral ore can be found to produce the extract. Here, it can be tested on the wild beasts of the jungle, away from prying eyes. If it will destroy their desire to fight, their will to resist, and we'll know that no human being can be immune to its effects. With it, any nation can be destroyed through the water it drinks. Its will to resist will be gone. You realize, of course, the fabulous price I can demand for this from the highest bidder. Whoever sees this project through shares in the reward. The extract must be perfected. Even more important is the antidote. That too must be perfected. So you have your choice. Remain here and work, or find your way out of the jungle alone. I think we're all ready to see her through. Then start putting the camp and the equipment in order.
going alone to hunt? No, I go to find Jungle Jim and then the man if he speaks out. There is no such beast, Mahara. I must learn the truth. Then I know if Jungle Jim is our friend or our enemy. But I'll go with you to find him. No, you have the animals to prepare for shipment. Be not troubled, for I have no fear of Jungle Jim. Besides, Ramada, you cannot leave the patrol to dance. After the animals delivered, we'll have your wedding feast. I will tell Sherry you'll set the day. Yes. I will lose a sister, and you will gain a wife. But I'm happy for you both. for our wedding feast, Shari. Oh, Ramada. Come, we will seek Mahara's blessing together. He's left the camp. What has taken him away on our betrothal day? He seeks Jungle Jim. He has gone into the jungle alone? Oh, yes, why? We, we must find him. I, I know he will be in danger. Bring your men and follow us. We must find Mahara. <laughs> He has slain my brother. But he'll die according to our tribal customs. The man Abe killed your brother. I warned you about him. It was your knife that killed him. Take him to Mahara's tent. Speak, jungle man. I was on my way to your camp to speak with Mahara when I saw the killer ape attacking him. You admit you were seeking Mahara only to advise him not to sell his animals to the hunters in the Canyon of the Ape. How could that concern you? The men in the valley were recklessly killing the animals. Your tongue speaks lies. You talk of a creature with the face of an ape and the body of a man. If such a creature exists, why has no one but you seen him? The men in the Canyon saw it. More lies. Two of their men were here. They said they saw no such creature in the Valley of the Ape. We have heard enough. We know you killed Mahara, and for that you will die. Prepare for his execution. always heeded my words. I would like to speak to you of the man ape. There may be truth to this jungle man's story.
Do you have some theory about the man ape Achman? I speak from what I have learned after a lifetime spent in the jungle. My brother often said you had more knowledge of the jungle and its creatures than any man. But how could such a thing as a man ape be possible? All things are possible in nature, Shai. Consider the many strange creatures it has produced. The flying squirrel. It is a four-legged animal, yet it has wings and flies like a bird. Then there is the inch snake, smaller than a child's finger, but the deadliest of reptiles, and even stranger, fish that not only live on dry land, but climb trees as well. Fish that climb trees? Impossible? No. A famous American explorer took motion pictures of these fish as they climbed these trees. Even so, Ahmed, a, a man-ape. It's hard to believe nature could produce so strange a creature. I will show you a creature perhaps even stranger. What is it? Some call it a rare species of horned chameleon. But it looks... it looks like a... Like what, Shari? Like a baby dinosaur. Consider, Shari. If it is possible for a dinosaur, even a baby one, to exist today, why not a man ape? Certainly no animals, that, unless it were an ape. An ape? Do you mean the man ape? No. Remember the jungle man had a pet chimpanzee? Jungle Jim has escaped. He must be captured and destroyed. Killer Ape's track stopped here. Tamba, run home and get me a knife. It's dangerous, Shari, to leave the camp before the animals are recaptured. There's a murderer in the jungle, too. Our men will capture him. I will find him and avenge my brother's death. Shari! Shari!
I was trying to help you. I don't want your dagger. You want to kill me as you did my brother. I told you before, the man ape killed your brother. Look out behind you! <laughs> do you intend to keep me here? You want to leave here knowing that the man-ape is between here and your camp? More of your lies. The man-ape doesn't even exist. Let me show you something. Well, come on. Take a look at Tamba there. <laughs> almost human, isn't he? Well, what of it? Well, if there are apes that are almost human, there may be humans that are almost apes. That's ridiculous. How could a human being become an ape? Well, when female apes lose their young, they often steal native babies to raise. That's been going on for years. What's the point? That is the point. It's been going on for years, for generations. And you believe that after several generations, these, these native babies raised by apes might become... More ape than native. I'll believe that when I see this man-ape, as you call him. so sure you couldn't take care of the killer ape single-handed. Wake me up if she tries to escape.
thing's afraid of fire. The beast killed your brother and followed us here. Can you ever forgive me? I know it was hard to believe, but now maybe you can help me convince Ramada. Yes. I'll tell him you saved my life. And now maybe you'll believe me when I tell you that Ramada should not deliver any more animals to the men in the canyon. Yes. I think we've captured most of our animals, Ackman. A few have gone deep into the jungle. It will take time to track them. Well, first we'll deliver those we have. Mackey, return to camp. Tell them we're taking the cages to the Canyon of the Ape. I go hurry. Come, let us move. You captured the jungle man. No, Maya, he comes willingly. He must speak with Ramada. Ramada has not returned. He and the hunters are tracking the animals. I'll have to find him. One of the hunters is returning. Mankey, where is Ramada? Many animals were trapped. Ramada is taking them to the canyon of the egg. I'll have to try to head him off. I will go with you. No, Shari. The man ape is still alive in the jungle. You're safer here in camp. This time I will believe you. After I reach Ramada, we'll track down the killer ape. Wait. I will send word to Ramada so he will receive you as a friend. Sam is only trying to be friendly. Remember, Shara, you stay in camp. Come on, Tamba, we've got to move fast. Zebras show no signs of reaction to the antitoxin. Uh, you're sure it was derived from an active serum? The serum was taken from infected monkeys today. Well, did you try the antitoxin on the monkeys? Yes, in a regular solution. It had the desired results. They recovered within a four-minute period. Well, then try it on the zebras undiluted. Uh, it looks like we're going to get some new animals to work with. Uh, Norley. Yeah. Better have your men ready in case of trouble. Right. Ramada, this is Dr. Andrews, chief of our expedition. Perhaps he can tell us what he's done to these animals. Oh, it's nothing that will harm them. It is not natural for animals of the jungle to act like this. Actually, it should be of little concern to you. You're paid well for the beasts. Tell me, please, what use do you make of these animals? Such explanations are not part of our transaction. Leave the cages and you'll be paid in full. You do not wish to explain, and we do not wish to sell. Order the men to start back with the cages. Yes. We will return to camp. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
Make an example of him. That'll keep the rest of them in line. They're going to stay here and help us handle the animals. If any of their tribesmen come to investigate, order the guards at the pass to keep them out. You know what to do now, Tamba. See Ramada die? When the sun goes down, the thongs that are holding him will tighten, and he won't have a very pleasant death. to obey my orders? You had your last chance. Sons' word, you've saved her life. 
Now you've saved mine. Now we must free your people in the canyon. How can we do that? Except for your knife, we're unarmed. Well, we can start out by releasing that lion. It's the ape. Harry, take your men and capture it. There's Jungle Jim and Ramada. Captured him, that monster will make a fine subject to work with. You are all going to devote the next portion of your lives to the progress of science. At such time as you desire a drink of water, this is the water that you will drink. In it will be this remarkable extract I've discovered. When you drink it, it will quench your thirst, but it will also take from you the will to resist. In that way, you will do whatever I command. You will help me perfect my great discovery. You're a madman. Mark me well. This vile thing will destroy you, not us. <laughs> Three full days it has refused to drink. We've got to make it take some of the extract. Patience, Perry. We'll tame the beast. <laughs> Any success with Jungle Jim or the tribesmen? Not yet, but they can't hold out much longer. Go and try again. Any further results with the antitoxin? We're testing a new supply of serum. I'll let you know what reactions we get. <laughs>
Don't do it, Shari. Don't do it. We can make the pass. We could attack them now. Go find our warriors. Bring them to me. There's a water hole nearby. I'll take you to it. I almost forgot how thirsty I was. Uh, they're gone. We'll see what's happened to the camp. have escaped and the man ape is gone you'll probably take back his canyon we're getting out of here 
We can use the large clearing on the other side of the pass. Yes, and we'll be close enough to get the Acre door. We'll start by moving the laboratory equipment and supplies. Right. Let's get out of here. Pack the supplies and strike the tents. Seems quiet. We might be able to take them one by one. I'm willing to try, Jim, if you are. The worst that can happen, we can come back here and wait for your men. Camp looks deserted. I don't understand it. There's no way out of this canyon except through the pass. They would not go away and leave their supplies. We'll go down and investigate, but be careful. Bye. <laughs> 
Sorry we didn't get here in time to give you a hand, Jim. The killer ape did most of the job for us. After the fire destroyed the ape, we found what remained of Andrews and his men in the caves. Hard to believe what some men will do for money. You've done the government a great service, Jim. The warden and I are going to recommend you for a medal. You ought to recommend Ramada for a medal. Why me, Jim? Why should I deserve a medal? You're going to marry Shari.